5 seconds. Mr. Speaker, sir, I am obliged to you and the House for taking up this important demand for discussion. I am very happy that many honorable members made some valuable suggestions. I must say that I have been profited by the suggestions made by the honorable members who took part in the discussion. On this occasion, I would like to say that when I took up this important portfolio, I thought that the Agriculture Department had not been doing what it could do. But I must say that after seeing the work done in the last few months, I have been impressed with the efficiency of the officials of this department. It is true that in spite of the department having done so much, there is much more to be done. I have been trying to see that the officers of the agriculture department get into contact with the people in the villages so that the riots may be able to adopt improved methods of agriculture which will be good for the country as a whole. After the failure of rains for the last 5 or 6 years, we have had sufficient rains now but at the same time I would like to say that there has been pest attack on crops this year. In this connection I may inform the honorable members that we have taken necessary steps to stock insecticides at the agricultural depots for supply of riots. I am glad that the honorable member rightly pointed out that the need for the more demonstrations and exhibitions. I am grateful to him for his suggestion that these exhibitions should be conducted in the rural areas so that the riots may be able to see the improvements made by the department. But in this connection, I may tell the honorable members that it is not possible to hold exhibitions in every village. I would like to point out that exhibitions can be held only in important centers and they are in urban areas. I would invite honorable members to see the work carried on at the research stations so that they may be able to meet the riots in their constituencies and inform them of improved methods of agriculture. In this way, they may encourage the riots to adopt the new methods of cultivation. I am much obliged to one honorable member for his interesting suggestions. I know that he is not merely a member of the Legislative Assembly, but he is a practical agriculturist. I am sure that we need the cooperation of such honorable members. He suggested that measures should be supplied free of cost to small farmers, but I would like to tell him that even if a riot is poor, he has some land, but on the other hand, there are a large number of people who do not have any property. So it is not fair that these few people who have land should be given these things free of cost as they get some benefit from this. Of course, it should be said that the government have been increasing from time to time the facilities in the matter of loans for agricultural improvement. So far as these loans are concerned, I may inform the honorable member that the government have decided that they will no longer grant loans to bigger riots who themselves will be able to raise loans. As a matter of fact, it is now the policy of the government to grant loans only to smallholders who are not able to raise loans for agricultural improvement. Then, the honorable member made a suggestion that the agricultural department should take steps to help the poor riots in backward areas in the matter of water facilities. So far as this suggestion is concerned, I may inform him that filter point wells are installed wherever it is possible. I would also like to say that they are not costly, but it cannot be done where the water table is very low. But I would consider the suggestion that there should be some attempt made by the department in areas where the riots do not have any water facilities. There was a suggestion made that wherever there were lands available for cultivation, they should be given to the landless. So far as forest lands are concerned, we have to increase the forest wealth of our state where the forest wealth is poor. So it is not right on the part of the government to assign such lands for cultivation.